Hey, what's going on guys and gals? This is Engineered Mojo. Today I'm going to show you how to edit an equation in this tutorial. Uh, as always, I'm working in MathCAD Prime 3.1 and this process applies to pretty much all MathCAD Primes and it even applies to previous MathCAD um, versions that were not Prime. And I start with the new sheet. This creates a new sheet and it creates a grid pattern on your sheet and it creates a blue crosshair which indicates where your next region, whether it's a math region or a text region, will populate the sheet. So as always, I'll typically start off by creating a text box. And you see a region popped up. I'll just drag this out a little bit and I'll type what the session is going to be about. Editing and equation so if you've watched my previous tutorial I showed you how to input an equation uh, just a simple numerical equation this one I'll show you how to edit one so I'll start off by having my crosshair I'll have it that region there I'll type in 10 using the keyboard plus 5 times 6 equals and as always, MathCAD automatically populates the answer for you when you're using the equal symbol. So now say you want to change this up a little bit and you want to change the multiplication symbol. All you have to do is just click within the region of the equation and it automatically highlights the 5 and the 6. And then say if you want to change the plus, it'll highlight the 10. But it looks at this it also highlights the 5 and the 6 and this is because MathCAD follows conventional math uh, operations as far as the order in which it's done so exponents multiplication division and then come subtraction and addition so in this case it's following that order so your multiplication will occur first so that's why this 5 and 6 is grouped together um, with the 10 in the multiple in the addition symbol um, so this is the really basic math and just remember that MathCAD does follow the process order as far as your operators so for this session I want to change the multiplication I'll change it to division and I'll hit the front slash button on the keyboard and voila MathCAD automatically changes it. Once you click out of the region or you use your arrows to arrow out of the region, MathCAD will update the answer. And say I want to change this plus now. As you see again, um, both the 10 and the 5, 6 is highlighted. And that's just to show you that whatever you do here to this operator, whatever change you make will affect both. Uh, value both numbers just because of the relationship of the division to the uh, addition. Uh, division always comes before addition uh, in the mathematical order. So for that one I'll put I want to make the 5, 6 an exponent of the 10. So I'll just go to the keyboard and type in the exponent function which is usually above the number 6 on your keyboard. And there you go. At 10 and 5, 6 as the exponent and it updates the answer and you can easily um, you know use the operator menu to get to the exponents um, and that, that's also a way you can do it but typically I try to use my keyboard whenever I can and if I were you I'll just play with this um, you know you can use different operations and you can just play around and, and you know change change different things within your equation you know use sine cosine pi and just play around with this uh, editing tool within MathCAD just to get familiar with it and comfortable and if you have any questions on this comment down below if you like this video please like as always I try to keep these tutorials pretty short because I don't like long tutorials I feel like they kind of bog you down and you get lost in what you learned in, in the beginning um, so hopefully you liked it. There will be more MathCAD tutorials as I go along. 
Uh, if you have any questions, again, comment down below. And good talking to you.